Hello to shareholders and prospective shareholders of Decalol. Uh, this is the second podcast uh, in a new change of strategy for us to use podcasts as the primary medium for communicating messages with shareholders in relation to announcements and other information of interest. Of course, uh, doing so in line with the, the AIM rules to disclose um, only what's uh, uh, able to be disclosed. We, we had an announcement today, which is uh, an update in relation to our uh, cashew uh, interest. Uh, this really two elements to this announcement. One is uh, pleased to confirm there's been a, a 1 million euro cash injection into the, the project. This has been uh, made by Concordia, uh, which is an existing uh, shareholder, which is uh, it's not part of the, the decal all set up with the, the existing decal all interest and the existing decal all option, uh, but a, a partner we value. And uh, this money will be used uh, as working capital together uh, with loans that we, uh, which I'll get to in a second. So this uh, this interest uh, was done, uh, an evaluation of six million euros. It's uh, it's actually been in the works for a number of months. So uh, the same valuation level for the uh, the underlying business capro that that we previously invested uh, at the back end of last year. Um, I do note that, however, of course, uh, the way that the the decal oil interest was initially structured, that that uh, given the the premium. Of, uh, on decal oil stock that was provided as consideration of decal's interest was actually achieved at uh, a 4.2 million valuation compared to the 6 million. So, so it's a what we believe good good endorsement of the the project and I said a, bit, a little time coming and and really quite an important um, milestone in terms of the conditions precedent to the to the loans that we intend to draw down to pay for the the major pieces of work being the the construction of the the mill and the the infrastructure works. We also announced that the some slight updates to to the plan debt structure of the business, which uh, further improve it. Pleased to to state that both the the two major loans, which are, uh, will be put towards the mill, uh, the fight this the, the the BIDC loan, which you you're all aware of, which was a, a five million US dollar loan, is uh, confirmed with a two year principal grace period. And uh, NCR, it's a, it's a local, uh, well-respected Ivorian bank, uh, has also provided a two-year grace on their 2.5 million uh, contribution. So that's uh, we think is is very good and provides a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, room in terms of the the ramp up phase of the mill in terms of the the finance structure uh, that we need to support. Uh, we've also uh, made progress with the the loans which will come down at the end of the process. So there's a there's a small loan which will be used at the back end uh, of the construction process. And in terms of the the financing of cashews, we we have a facility in place to uh, working capital facility to buy cashews. I mean, one of the main you know benefits that uh, we believe in cashews is you can uh, purchase them, store them, and then produce. Uh, on a more linear fashion throughout the year compared to palm oil. So, so that, that's all in place. So pretty pleased uh, where we're at. In terms of you know, decal oil position, we, we still maintain a 37% uh, shareholding and an option over a further 17%. So, so pleased that obviously this, this money has gone in and decal oil has been able to maintain its uh, majority position. We did elect to, to receive some uh, cash we provided as a short-term bridge loan uh, back to the company. And, and really this is, uh, this is obviously to ensure the company's uh, cash position is maintained in a sensible manner as we embark on uh, this, uh, this new project. And of course, as, as we all know, last year was, uh, was an incredibly challenging year. So, so basically a little bit of uh, making sure that the stable, stability of the existing business is maintained. And of course, you know, keen to uh, get on with the cashew business and uh, expand in that uh, manner. So, really, I think we we should see or see we should see things ramp up considerably from here. I think we you know we'll now be able to uh, complete the conditions precedent to loans and make the the payments and commence the the construction of the the mill and the infrastructure works and you know very much aiming to be up and running within twelve months and in time for the the high season which generally runs in terms of cashews from February through June, albeit I will say that you can, of course, purchase cashews uh, in country throughout the year. So, so a pretty exciting moment, I think, for, for Deckel. Um, you know, we, we see the, uh, what the business will look like next year with the cashew coming online together with the palm oil, um, a substantially larger uh, enterprise. 
and uh, of course diversified amongst two commodities and you know we, we will repeatedly uh, look to expand into other uh, commodities but the, these two are certainly the absolute focus uh, for the minute. In terms of the existing palm oil business, we'll of course uh, reasonably soon announce the Q2 numbers. Of course, the, the Q1 numbers in palm oil production show that uh, the business uh, materially improved from last year, which was obviously a very, very challenging year. So, so we look forward to providing a, a further update on that in the early part of uh, July. We hope shareholders of Viney will find this new medium of communication helpful and, and we'll watch out for questions and please send questions through and regarding this announcement or other areas and we'll provide further uh, podcasts in relation to announcements and other areas of interest. Thanks very much.